In this video, I want to show off our new GC21 guardrails. Now, these are uh, GC, meaning G for guardrail, C for combination. So this is a combination pedestrian vehicular. You can kind of tell that because it has the substantial posts and it has a big horizontal rail there that makes them vehicular rated. Uh, in order to make them pedestrian rated as well, we need to make the post a little bit taller at the top rail and then add any kind of uh, uh, infill. Um, actually, I'll show you that, that that's a GC10 over there, uh, but this is this is the GC21, a new model that we're coming out with. Um, so this this particular customer, they wanted uh, this really cool X pattern as well. You know, these little X's all the way down makes it look super cool. Uh, but, but that is kind of a custom thing. Uh, makes it look super cool, but doesn't really add any structural capacity or anything. It just looks really awesome. And with the cables, you know, they're just really transparent. Um, and we just put these uh, these eighth inch cables all the way down. Whenever we ship them out, we do ship them loose. So right now they're, uh, they're, they're three inches on center all the way up. Uh, we do ship them loose that way when, when you're installing the bridge, um, they, they, don't, they don't break or buckle or anything like that. Uh, actually, let me show you what a, what a turnbuckle looks like. All right, these are the turnbuckles here. So whenever you get them, you'll just want to tighten these up here. And then there's a little uh, nut that you have to back in in order to keep them from backing out. Okay, you just tighten those all the way up. Um, while you tighten up, you, you, st you stick anything, a screwdriver, anything inside there in order to tighten these um, uh, to get them nice and tight. About uh, yeah, you just do that to all of them, and then uh, and then you put those nuts on to keep it from loosening up. So you got turnbuckles there, you got turnbuckles over there. You can see on the far side. Um, let me zoom in how that looks on the far side. He's got turnbuckles on on, on either side. This is a 90 foot long bridge. Uh, I believe the longest we can go with uh, with these turnbuckles is about 35 feet. So we have to we have to splice them here in order to make it work. Um, otherwise, what the um, what it looks like in the, on the intermediate post is more like this right over here. You can see those. There's a simple angle going going down with the cable going through it. Okay, uh, let me show you another view. All right, so that that's the. Uh, that's what the G, P, I'm sorry, GC21, uh, GP guardrail slash pedestrian would be only pedestrian rated. GV guardrails are only vehicular rated. GCs are pedestrian and vehicular rated. Okay, so that, that's what the, um, it's just really cool how transparent those are. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's a really cool look. As compared to, uh, this is a, uh, this is a GC10. This is our very traditional, um, kind of run of the mill. We build a lot of these. We've been building the exact same one for, for heck, 30 years. Uh, and it looks good, right? But it's not invisible. So imagine this same guardrail, but all those, uh, th these are these are all one by ones, right? One by ones, they're about three and a half inches on center or so. Uh, they, they have to be four inches max gap. So we, we kind of shoot for three to three and a half inch uh, on centers or gaps depending on, uh, well, depending on the decking, a few different reasons, but uh, um, imagine these with just the cable, so you, they would be almost invisible. Uh, they would look like, you know, you'd be able to get really good visibility. Um, we can do that same guardrail with the pedestrian or the, the, the combination guardrails. Uh, so yeah, so this one would look really cool with, uh, with the cables instead of the one by ones. Um, but the cost, I, I, don't, I don't know the costs. Um, you have to call the sales office. They should be very comparable in price, but they look amazing. I really like the way they, these turned out. Um, yeah, so as far as maintenance goes, longevity, um, these look really good, but I can see maybe maybe in 10 years, maybe there's a kid that you know bounces on these and breaks one of these, which is why we went for, for this, uh, this particular style here. It makes it easy for us to go back and fix if we ever needed to. So the, these are definitely repairable uh, we can send you another um, another cable if if need be um, so that, that that is one downside is um, is these won't hold up as long uh, as the uh, as a G, as a GC 10 these GC 10s they're uh, the only reason why you'll ever break these is if a car hits it um, or a tractor or something pretty big hits it other than that uh, we've never had any pedestrian 
issues with with uh, breaking these that they're pretty substantial right so uh, you got it to trade off do you want it to look better or do you want it to perform better right so um, yeah but these these look amazing thought I'd share that uh, let me know if you have any questions let me know what you think about this new style I think it looks really cool um, so th these are our posts and this is a one by one um, angle that we we punch holes into the same angle goes all the way down right um, yeah looks totally awesome